Hi everyone, we are meeting here once again to talk about WebEx widgets. And today, honorable guest is Kanban. Have you ever crossed paths before? Anyway, let me give you a brief outline of the history. Such a way to manage the workflows was implemented by Taiichi Ona, the father of the Toyota production system. The approach takes its name from the cards that were used to track production process within a factory. This method worked well for Toyota, it was adopted by many successful businesses around the world and remains relevant now. Bearing this in mind, you can meet it in the manufacturing, software development, marketing, finance and other sectors. So let's take a look at our widget and check up on how it actually works. Kanban card. Kanban card is a visual part of the Kanban system and a visual representation of the work task. Translated from Japanese, it literally means a visual pen and card. Pen. The card is fully configurable and may contain any information which meets your project needs. From the box, it may include the task name, list of tags, priority color, assigned person, Attachment and comments. When a card has an image attached, it preview it in a shirt on top of the card. Of course, as with any other WebEx widgets, all of these elements can be easily changed on the client side. Let's look at how we can do it using a special editor that appears by double clicking on the card. It should be pointed out that the editor is also flexibly configurable, so you can set a custom fields here or remove the predefined ones. Let's change the card's text assign some tags and modify some of the other data. Okay, here it is. The card has gotten the updated info and at the same time, the component has already sent the new data to the server site, so it will be saved there as well. While editing cards is breeze, the real fun starts with the card's prioritizing. You can grab any card and drag it to the necessary position. Touch moving the card up and down to find the task priority. Of course, there is a special API to perform all of the separations via the code. Kanban columns. Now let's deal with the Kanban columns. Normally, each of them represents a current stage of the task process. All cards go through the workflow from the request stage to the full completion. If you are new to the method, you can start with a basic Kanban board structure and split it into three primary sections that show different workflow stages. So moving a card between a different columns will be tantamount to changing its status. Each column can be collapsed to provide more space for other columns. Of course, you can configure the column's appearance and specify as many columns as you need. There are no special limits here. Kanban swim lanes. When columns are not enough to meet your project needs, you can define extra rows as well. They are also called swim lanes. Using this kind of rows, you can further group the task by priority, by assignee, or by any other card's parameters. For example, it can be separation of different departments such as development or design of your project. In this case, the separate swim lanes will give you a better overview of the workload, the task type and help you achieve a better result. If you want to get more complex layout, it is also possible. You can easily mix rows and columns as you wish. Such way is not a part of Kanban system, but it can be useful to reflect the specific requirements of your project. If you work with a huge number of tasks, it makes sense to apply the different modes for the rendering. In this case, the cards will be arranged in the most suitable way by occupying all three spaces of the columns instead of displaying as a list. Our advantages. While there are a lot of Kanban-based apps on the internet, you will not find so many Kanban widgets you can use to create your own application. But even between them, WebEx Kanban stands out for a number of the following advantages. Lightning rendering speed. The widget with a thousand cards is rendering in less than a second. If you work with around 10,000 cards, just set a dynamic rendering and you will still enjoy less than a one second rendering speed. Easy backend integration. All business logic is implemented on the client side, but the widget provides a REST API for saving data to the server. We have example of such server scripts for different platforms. Easy front-end integration. The widget works well with the old modern frameworks. You can use it standalone or as a part of the React or Angular app. Customization. All of the elements can be flexibly customized via API without the need to dive into the source code, which are provided by the way. Rich features, filtering, grouping, context menu, and much more. Documentation, samples, and technical support. We provide detailed documentation, lots of examples, and we are always in touch to help you if something goes wrong.
And that's it. I will put together a cheat sheet for you that covers everything we have talked about today, plus some additional notes that I think you will find useful. You can discover the online demos and grab a full trial from our website via a link that you will find somewhere around this video. If you like this video, please check to like, share it with your colleagues, and be sure to subscribe for new episodes. Thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you soon again.